Everyone excited? Everyone ready? Uh, boarding an aircraft carrier for the first time. Honestly, pretty nervous. I'm kind of nervous. Um, it's definitely going to be very loud, very chaotic, but it's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Remember that. It is going to be a bit chaotic. Um, it's probably not going to be a five-star resort, but it's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity most people think I get to do. Yeah, it's going to be amazing. Uh, yep, we're all ready now. We're all ready. We've got our helmets fitted there because it's going to be very loud in the helicopter. We've only taken one helicopter ride before, and, well, that was incredibly loud, so glad we've got the right equipment this time. We've also got our vests on here that were given to us by the U.S. military. All right, you guys ready? This is going to be an adventure and a half, some could say. Um, they're going to fire this thing up in a second. I'm going to depart from Tokyo International down to HMS Gerald. And we're going to spend a day down there researching for a video. It's going to be a lot of fun. So, I guess let's get this thing fired up and get going. Say goodbye to land for a day. Alright, there we go. The engines are loading up there now. And any moment we'll be off on our way. So, I think it's around... Oh gosh, this is really loud. You have to, well, it definitely takes you a minute to adjust to the uh, volume of the propellers there. But anyways, there goes air traffic control. It's actually an amazing view out the windows there. Incredible. I'm so glad we got to do this. And it's going to be such an enjoyable day. We're going to learn a lot, take some videos later on in the afternoon as well for the project. And yeah, it's going to be great. I think it's around a 45 minute flight down there because it's quite far off the coast at the moment. So I guess let's relax in these, well, not so premium seats. But uh, once we get there, it should be a bit more comfortable and a bit more spacious. Uh, I think we're 15 minutes into the journey now and everything, well, the only thing I can really see outside is the ocean. Uh, there's nothing apart from blue ocean there. So this is probably the furthest I've ever been away from land. Except on an airplane, of course. So, that's pretty cool. Um, oh, oh yeah, look, guys. Guys, over here on the right side. There's a, I think that's a fighter jet. Maybe, or maybe that's just a small private jet. No, that's probably a fighter jet. Yeah, it would make sense. So, I think we're nearing enough to the aircraft carrier that the flight paths are around here somewhere. Uh, do I see it? Oh, I can't see it, actually. I think it's over there. I think it's on this side. And uh, the chairs are blocking it. But I think we are just arriving now. Uh, hopefully you will come into view in just a second. Oh, okay. I think we're just going to turn around now. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah, I can hear it. I can hear it. It's very loud. Uh, so I think it's just there. Yep, that's, uh, I think that's someone taking off from it. Okay, I think we're staring directly at it. It's really hard to tell when you're sitting facing away. But, uh, looking out the windows and seeing a fighter jet just fly past, I think we're just getting clearance to land. Okay, so this bit may take a bit longer than I expected. It's not just as easy as, well, landing. We've got to get clearance. There's probably a lot of jets moving around. I can hear it all, but not see it. So uh, something's going on behind me, but uh, we should be approaching it now. We've lowered down quite a bit, so we're relatively close. Probably only a couple hundred feet above the water surface there, and it's a pretty calm day. I think we may be moving in to go and land now. Very excited. I should have chosen that seat, actually. I probably would have got a better view and... Uh, wouldn't have to fly backwards, but... Oh, there we go. Yep, that is the aircraft carrier. Okay. Oh, whoa. Okay, so I think I can see the bridge over there. I can hear aircrafts around me. Oh, my. This is this is getting real. And I think we're touchdown. Oh, my goodness me. This is incredible. It's massive as well. Like, I can only see a tiny bit of it, but this thing is massive. All right, perfect. We're being allowed out now. Let's head out to the exits. My goodness me. So they've got... Uh, Thank you, thank you, very, thank you very much for the ride there. So we can see there's an aircraft just passing by the sunrise. We've got a, oh my gosh, I don't even know what type of aircraft that is. That looks kind of older. Um, yeah, it looks older, but I think they're preparing for the takeoff there. Incredible stuff, incredible stuff. All right, we're following along the edge of the carrier there. Pretty much the only thing that would stop us from falling is that catch barrier. And that's not really going to stop us from falling. Just uh, catch us if we do fall. So we're now heading inside the bridge, I believe. And let's head up these stairs here. Okay, we're going pretty high up. We're maybe going to the air traffic control tower. ATC personnel. Oh, yeah. Okay. This is somewhere you do not uh, get access to often. This is incredible. Hold on. We can go over here and take a look outside. This, uh, this has some amazing views. Look at this. I'm going to try and stay away and not touch anything. But having a look at this, 
Wait, is this all the... Oh, yeah, this must be all the aircrafts in the area. So you can see there's two currently taken off. These must be taxiing on the aircraft carrier. Hey there. Managed to find us. Whoa, this is incredible. Hey, would you mind if we headed onto the balcony? Just get a, a better look at this all. Let's head over here and take a look. Not get in the way of air track controllers. Oh my goodness me. Okay, we managed to just catch the takeoff. That is incredible. Uh, just going to make sure we're not in the way of anyone. That's a pretty high drop as well. I think we're three stories up. This is incredible. Oh my goodness me. I would never thought I'd be at the position. Oh wait, guys, look, look, look over there. We've got an aircraft about to take off and then I think another one preparing to take off there. We've arrived here. It's around 8 a.m. now, so it's kind of, I'm guessing, the prime time for launching. So what we're going to do, we're going to have the morning exploring the aircraft carrier. They're going to give us a tour around. We're going to be allowed in certain areas. Other areas we're not allowed, but uh, it's going to be a good experience. And then in the afternoon, we're doing all the filming for the video. All right, stay clear, stay clear. Oh, there we go, firing up and off they go. That is incredible, and then off it goes down. All right, we're heading downstairs, uh, so we're just going to go ahead and probably show around other parts of the carrier here before our filming this afternoon. I think we'll probably get lunch served on board here as well. Oh, flyby, neat. This looks like a... That is an incredibly large missile launcher, it looks like. Oh, goodness me, wow. This is one of the rescue uh, helicopters that looks like they're using. Incredible. So I think this is similar to the one we flew over in. Blackhawk model, I believe, and then just modified for special use there. Um, so you can see it's got the, like a winch attached to the side. I'm not sure what those are. Maybe that's flotations. They need to land in the water. That would make sense since it's uh, Coast Guard. And another landing. It's incredible that you're able to get so close to landings here on the carrier. And they're landing at such quick intervals as well. Like you can see here, that one will be coming in in about a minute or so. Alright, so, runway seems to be clear. L think we're heading back to air track controller. We're doing some testing setup shots. We're going to set up the cameras there. And uh, while it's relatively clear, we'll most likely be getting busier later on today. We're going to do some testing shots. Make sure all the camera rigs are fine from traveling and everything. And, well, then, on to this afternoon. It will be the actual filming for the video here. Would it be fine if we had a camera set up? Um, hold on. Uh, out here, on the opposite corner, uh, so actually over here, would it be fine if we had a camera set up around here, overlooking the deck on the outside, so we don't have the uh, glare from the window? Would that be a, an okay place to have a camera set up? Alright, perfect. I'm gonna go and set that up. You guys get some set up inside. We'll go ahead and bring this one outside. Go ahead and move. Uh, cause it seems most of the air track controllers are over there, so if we're over here, we shouldn't be interrupting anyone's personal space and we'll go ahead and get a camera set up here nicely we may have a plane come in to land soon oh great thank you do you know how long one minute oh apparently there all right apparently there's an aircraft coming in one minute so i'm going to set up and test focus um for this aircraft that should be coming in a minute the only problem is it's gonna be hard because i'm gonna be viewing well the aircraft's really taking off but I guess we can do a shot with them landing as well then. all right here we go aircraft should be coming in any moment now Whoa, okay. Came in pretty fast and wild. Oh gosh, they're gonna stop that thing. Hold on, that's a bit further. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's hanging onto the side of the aircraft carrier, isn't it? Yeah, the aircraft is hanging off the side of the aircraft carrier, it looks like. As you can see, it's tilted down towards the water. All right, we're gonna go and move out of the way here now. And let's uh, just squeeze by everyone. Brought my camera with me. Yeah, that aircraft is definitely hanging onto the side of the carrier, isn't it? Oh, I see what happened now. I did enough research to know what the arresting wire is, and that, that's the thing they're supposed to catch onto when landing. And it snapped. They must have gone straight over deck then, but didn't they have protocols to stop that? Okay, I think this is the closest we're allowed to go to the scene there. Okay, there's a lot of people gathered around. I think it looks like they're attaching some rope onto the... Uh, hook there to try and drag it back. I'm gonna film this, definitely not going in the video, but I, I guess it could be useful for them, maybe. They, they probably have cameras everywhere, but uh, I guess if we do have this as well, it gives us a bit of a closer view of what's going on there. So if we zoom in, oh gosh, you can see it's really holding on. Even the wheel is lifted off the ground now, so they've, I think that's a pilot who's managed to be extracted from the aircraft, luckily. So I don't think anyone was injured, but it overran the arresting wire 
And back there, okay, I cannot see. Let's go and put that down. But yeah, back there, it looked like it snapped. So I'm, I'm not entirely sure. Maybe it's supposed to look like that, or maybe it was actually. I just saw an aircraft fly by me at a pretty high speed, to be fair. And it uh, looks like they're getting people in. So you can see now the aircraft is over there. They're bringing the pilot now into medical care, it looks like. It looked like they were kind of landing at something like 150 miles an hour and then really just couldn't break, but also couldn't take off at the same time because I'm pretty sure they're supposed to take off if it fails. So, yeah. Yeah, ma yeah, yeah, you get what I mean. Well, uh, they get everything fixed. Okay, we're going to head back to the bridge, it looks like, um, while they get everything fixed on deck here because they don't really want us in the way. I don't want to be in the way either, and it's uh, probably going to get pretty busy and loud with uh, maintenance crews coming in soon. Wow, that was a, well, dramatic day. A uh, dramatic few minutes there, to be fair. It all happened so fast. But luckily, it looks like everyone's okay. I think they're just being brought over some medical checks, but it does seem that everyone is okay, which is a good relief. It would be very unfortunate to come here on the day of a, well, relatively large accident. I'll go and pack up the cameras for the minute, and we can always reschedule because I know, well, it's not a normal afternoon on here. Uh, yeah, I did get a recording of it. I managed to record the event on my camera. So I, I guess I can give you a footage of that and you can take a look at that if you'd like. Uh, just get the memory card out. Give me a moment. But anyways, yeah, we'll, I, I'm not sure. We'll probably reschedule filming to another time or once they fix this because obviously I'm not sure they're going to be able to land while they've got one of the arresting wires damaged. So I hope they can get fixed that soon for the sake of this aircraft carrying them for the sake of our recording as well. So we'll have to see. All right, uh, there you go. If you take that SD card, um, there should be one of the clips on there. I can help you take a look at it if you bring me over to a computer. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you did enjoy. If you did, make sure to consider subscribing to help out the channel a lot. If you'd like to see more PTFS videos on the channel in the future, do let me know in the comments below, as uh, I think it'll be pretty interesting to do some more in the near future. So we'll have to wait and see. Anyways, have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.